Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to discuss linearity property for inverse Laplace transform. So first here we have to write down statement of this property. So yes here if we have this L inverse of this f of s, this is f of t and L inverse of this g of s is g of t, right? This is here we have given then L inverse of this A into F of S plus B into G of S is given by this is A into L inverse of this F of S plus B into L inverse of this G of S. Yes, what does this mean? this inverse Laplace transform we have to operate on this sum yes where this a and b these are the constant right and this is given by this is here right that means we have to operate this inverse Laplace transform separately on this f of s and this g of s right so we have to prove this statement here right yes the proof of this is straightforward Yes, we have to prove this is by using linearity property of Laplace transform. Yes, so let's proceed here. Yes, here we have given this Laplace inverse of f of s and g of s. That means here, yes, we can write this Laplace of this f of t, this is f of s, right? And from this one, we can write Laplace of this g of t this is g of s right and we know by linearity property of laplace transform yes here we have this a into f of t plus b into g of t this is given by this is yes we have to operate yes we have to distribute this l on this f of t and g of t right so here we have this is a into laplace of f of t plus this b into laplace of this g of t right yes next here yes from this is we can write yes this is a into yes this is what this is f of s and this b into s laplace of g of t this is here g of s right so here we have this is now we can transfer this laplace on this side so this is here laplace inverse of a into f of s plus b into g of s yes so remaining here we have this is a into f of t plus b into g of t right we have transfer this l this laplace on this side right so this get l inverse so we got this is here now what is this f of t yes this f of t and g of t yes from this is we can write yes value of f of t and g of t so here we have this is a into yes f of t this is l inverse of this is f of s plus this b into l inverse of g of s right so yes we have proved this linearity property of inverse laplace transform right so what does this mean right yes we can operate this laplace inverse separately on this f of s and g of s right yes we can distribute this l inverse as this way so this is linearity property for inverse laplace transform now to understand this property we have to see some examples here Yes, if we have to find Laplace inverse of 1 upon s cube plus this 2 upon s square plus 4, right? 
yes here we can check that here we have two functions right we have to find laplace inverse of this is that means we have to operate this laplace inverse separately on these two functions so here we have this laplace inverse of 1 upon s cube plus this laplace inverse of this 2 upon s square plus 4 right now in last lecture we have seen elementary inverse laplace transform right this is yes how to find l inverse of this one this is here t square upon factorial 2 yes we have seen l inverse of yes 1 upon s raised to n yes what is this this is here t raised to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial right by using this standard result we have seen we have to find this l inverse right same here l inverse of this is here yes this is sin of twice t right yes this is of this form yes this is l inverse of a upon s square plus a square and this is what this is sin of a t right so yes we have find l inverse of this is right this is function of t that means we have find Laplace inverse of this function which we got this is here similarly if we have to find yes if we have l inverse of this is if we have to find l inverse of 1 upon s plus 4 plus this is twice s upon s square plus 9 right yes how to find this is here yes we have to operate this l inverse separately on these two functions so here we have l inverse of 1 upon s plus 4 right and l inverse of this is twice s upon s square plus 9 right so yes what is this this is again elementary laplace inverse formula right so this is here e raised to minus 4t right and here Yes, we can take this is 2 outside. So, here we have 2 into L inverse of S upon S square plus 9. Yes, what is this? This is again basic formula, right? So, what is this? This is S upon S square plus 9. So, that is this is here cos of 3t, right? So, yes, this is we have find L inverse of this one. Yes, we have seen all these elementary inverse Laplace transform in last lectures right so in this way we have to distribute this L inverse separately on this functions so yes this is the linearity property of inverse Laplace transform so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching